All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can tell by my voice or anything, but I am sick once again. Yeah. Uh, I got a cold, so i power through. I am feeling like shit, but, uh, you know, can't take a day off of work. I'm going to get this done, you know. So, anyway, we are still looking at the win, which is like we've been looking at the last two, and now we actually looking at the Synchro Monster. And uh, for now, that is all the win, which is, so, um, you know, next week we'll probably be looking at something else, you know. Not a lot of new cards as of late. They've been kind of trickling, but uh, we'll find something, you know. Even if I got to go back and look at something I skipped over, or literally, I mean, card review, I can look at any card I want. So maybe I can, if there's nothing new, absolutely nothing new, maybe I can look at a particular card that you can side for the meta, you know. I used to do that. I think it was called, like, Side Deck Saturday, something like that. There was a series way, way back in the past. But, um, you know, I, I, card reviews, it, it doesn't have to be a new card. It's just newer cards. It's just easy to, to uh, get your opinion out. While it's like, if you look at older cards, it's like, yeah, we already know what that card does. It's been established whether it's good or bad. And, you know, while well, the format changes and cards become good or bad and they change, uh, you know, I could probably talk about some Side Deck cards. But that's if and only if there's nothing new, you know. We still got that uh, Dark Mission girl, but outside of that, I mean, not really. We had that uh, Ancient Gear card, but I'm not going to talk about that because I generally don't talk about cards that are on Daily Duels. And, of course, Ancient Gears is currently on Daily Duels, so I'm not going to probably talk about that here. I could talk about it on Daily Duels when I'm playing the deck. So, anyway, uh, let's actually get into reviewing this card. So, this is Wind Witch Winter Bell. So, Ice Bell, Snow Bell, Winter Bell, like I said, it, it just seems like a day. Uh, when I have maybe like Wind, they get more cards. It'll probably be like Arctic Bell and, you know. An absolute zero bell and snowstorm bell. I mean, it, they just have so many freaking cards to do. Uh, just you know, synonyms, synonyms, synonym. Yep, synonym, synonym, synonym. Yep, yep, no synonyms to, uh, you know, ice and winter and snow and stuff. They can have names forever, but this is winter bell. So, uh, this is the synchro monster. So, uh, it is a wind spellcaster synchro effect monster. Uh, level seven, twenty four hundred attack, two thousand defense. Uh, it's made with one tuner and one or more non-tuner wind monsters, so it's not generic. That's fine, you know, so you can make it in your uh, wind witch uh, archetype, but of course you can make it in spear as well. So it's uh, pretty much the equivalent of making clear wing, you know, so instead of going to clear wing, you would go into this. But is it worth it? Because you already know, clear wing is actually pretty strong. It's not as strong as crystal method, of course, but clear wing is very strong. Also, you might have noticed that uh, last card review, I put the actual name uh, Crystal Wing instead of Crystal Mass, because of course with YouTube, if I probably put in math, that would be drug related, and I'd probably use my monetization. I mean, it's not too important, but I'm not going to just shoot myself in the foot for no reason, you know? So, uh, of course, in the video, I'll say Crystal Mass all I want. If they want to take my monetization for saying Crystal Mass, then we'll probably you, but I'm not going to deliberately put in the title. So, I'm probably going to refer to it in this title, but uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and look at that effect. So, First effect is you can target one Winter Monster in your graveyard and inflict damage to your opponent equal to its level times 200. Oh wow, so much burn. So you had uh, which had like Snowbell who burned for like 500, and then you have this who burns for the level. So uh, Snowbell you burn for like 600. If you have like Ice Bell you burn for like 200. And if you have another copy of this in a graveyard, then 1400. You know, uh, I saw the episode that she doled it and it was really sacky. She pretty much just burned Yugo out and it kind of sucks. So I'm not a big fan of the burn. So. Uh, so far, I, I don't think I would go into this over uh, clearing unless my opponent has just enough where I can burn it. You know, just get that cowboy on. Just be like, oh, your life points are this? Well, instead of, you know, committing to attack or trying to get that direct attack in, I'll just synchro summon this and burn you for game. So, it's a little cowboy synchro monster in your pocket, I guess. Next effect. During either player's battle phase, you can target one win which monster you control, including itself. Don't just summon one monster from your hand with... A level less than or equal to that monsters, but it cannot attack this turn. You can only use the each effect of Wind Witch Winter Bell once per turn. So it just seems like it could possibly be an enabler for Crystal Mass and Main Phase 2 if you've already used up all your summons. So it's like, oh, uh, special summon, you know, and make this. Oh, but I'm not allowed normal summons, I'm allowed special summons, but I have like, you know, like this uh, try. Well, no, it would have to be uh, uh, Ice Bell. You have like an Ice Bell in your hand. You can be like, attack. Target itself. I summon a, a Wind Witch monster with attack less, I mean, a level less than or equal to this one, so less than seven. Summon Ice Bell, and then it can attack this line. Main phase two, go sink into Crystal Map. So, uh, it seems like it's kind of like a, a cleanup play. That's like, oh, well, I'm all out of summons. So, well, instead of going to Clear Wing, I can just go into this, tap, and then summon that Ice Bell and make Crystal Map. But overall, this card's not that great. And I think if it came to it, I'd probably make. Uh, 
clearing over this unless it's that absolutely situational time where I want to make that, that crystal mask made face too. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about her. Like she, she's the boss monster, but she's not really anything, you know. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna get like the fusion monster when she was controlled. She had a fusion monster, and she feeds into the next level of Winter Bell, which I can't remember the name of it because it's not relevant. But we didn't get that as a real card. We just got these three. So I said we're stepping away from Wind Witches. I said combined with Speed Rights, you can definitely do some shenanigans. And somebody in Crystal Mass has nothing to stop that. I mean, people make all to buy it just so you can summon Crystal Mass. So. Somebody else properly? Sure, more proud to you. Somebody do ultimate so broken? No. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh card review. So uh wish me well and like I said, I'm gonna keep pushing on. I got a lot of homework to do, gotta record for YouTube, so it's not gonna be just sit and rest, you know. Uh I'm not sure. Hopefully I'll be better by the live stream because well I can just sit here for a couple minutes to record and then lay back down. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll be able to make it through two hours. I, I feel like shit right now. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.